Hello again, it's Joey John McGuire. Wonderful sunny early June day out there. Everybody's smiling. I'm indoors in uh, my favourite local um, pub. Um, it's called the Broadway Bar, run by a friend of mine called Brennan. Wonderful stuff. Well worth a visit. It's a very popular public pub just up from Fulham uh, Broadway Underground Station. I'm about uh, to recite my latest poem uh, concerning uh, the, let, shall we call it, the uh, the bribery uh, of our recent election. Um, how Labour bribed, uh, bribed certain, shall we say, the younger members of our community and the elder members. Anyway, it's easy to uh, make promises. The poem is called Hoodwinked. Hoodwinked. They were all hoodwinked, kidded by an old kidder, their youthful minds not yet trained to read between the lines or separate the layers, albeit this being a clever ploy, almost too good to be true, making my point, supporting my insinuation. The older peeps, those who profess to know better, well, they were just as easily lured, blinded by years of being ignored or betrayed, or by inner desperation, easily, easily took the bait, as promise after promise rained down upon them like jewels falling from heaven. Selective blindness, born of frustration and a wish for some kind of bitter revenge, all of them old enough and wise enough to know better, but selfish enough not to give a damn that nothing ever comes from nothing. Everything comes with a price tag, however well it is dressed to be on parade. The villain of this heinous crime, a newly proclaimed saviour, praised as a magician, pulling what seemed to be a miracle from the bottom of a bottomless hat, all done in the time it took to blink, as they all had to listen intently, too busy trying to decipher the mumblings of a madman to notice his sleight of hand. For a while there, it felt like someone had tipped over the pot of gold at the end of a rainbow. Everything was glowing love and roses as euphoria exploded into cloud cuckoo land. No one ever thinking that one letter to Santa would solve the problems that ailed us all. <coughs> all they would be required to do was draw a simple X. No signature of guarantee, no down payment or installments necessary just a simple X to wipe away the years of looming debt, tackle the pain by avoiding austerity and more importantly punish those who have always been a thorn in their sides. Unshackled from restraint they were all going to have a ball but before the merriment could begin an execution of sorts. And why? Because someone had to pay, and preferring it not to be them, and not because of, but for the love of, their new Messiah Jeremy, they decided their head on the block would be that of Theresa May. And yours. And I'm a socialist, and I can see it. <laughs> 